when the mind is trained, it's like having a home, a place where you can be at your ease, where you're protected. It's because you have windows and doors that you can open and close. You have a roof over you to protect you from the sun and the rain. In other words, you've got walls all around, and there are holes in the walls, in the windows and the doors, but you can control the entry and egress. That's why it's your home. When the mind is not trained, it's like living in a bus station. Anybody can come in, anybody can go out. And who knows what's happening in the bathrooms and in the back, back corners. It's not a place where you can lie down, and it's certainly not a place where you can feel have any safety. So try to create a home for your mind. Close off your eyes, ears, nose, and open only at the moment to listen to the Dharma. Keep the nose open to, to breathe in and breathe out. But keep your mind focused right here. It's through restraint that we protect ourselves. We tend to forget that. We think of restraint as confining us, holding us in. But actually, it's our protection. And it's not just protection against things outside. Sometimes you hear it said that things outside will make you angry or make you upset or make you lustful. But all too often, the mind is already angry, it's already lusting, and then it's looking for some excuse to, ex to help that lust or anger grow. So with restraint, we're protecting ourselves from the members of the mind itself that are not so helpful. So be very careful about what you take in and why you're taking things in. When you look at something, ask yourself, why am I looking? Who's doing the looking? Is it me? Is it wisdom doing the looking? Or is anger doing the looking? Is greed doing the looking? The same for all your other senses. And when I look, what happens as a result? In other words, you look at these things as a cause and effect pattern and see where the causes are leading to suffering and where they can lead away from suffering. We have the mind settled down with one object like the breath like this, so we can do this with a sense of well-being. Otherwise, we're hungry for the least little thing that can come our way. So of course we're not going to close the door. We're going to open the doors and windows and let everything in, because we want as much as possible to come in. That's because we don't have anything good inside. But when you close off the windows and doors and provide yourself with good food, good entertainment inside, then you don't miss the things outside quite so much, and you can be more selective in what you allow in. And that's for your own safety. Otherwise the mind gets aggravated again and again and again, and becomes more and more likely to fall for its anger, fall for its greed, fall for its delusion. It's creating its own problems, and it can't protect itself. That's a bad state to be in. Whereas if you train the mind, you're learning how to protect yourself. And you train the mind not to create any more problems. And that's when you have safety all around.